The Honor Magic V5 is yet another huge step for Honor, debuting an unbelievably thin chassis alongside a gorgeous, luxurious looking design. And while the hardware itself is impressive enough, the displays are the real showstopper of this release. Last year's Honor Magic V3 was nearly as thin after all and had a huge battery, fast charging, and great cameras, but the V5 is an improvement in every imaginable way. Here's what makes those displays so much better. Right from the get-go, you can see how much better the modulation rate on the Magic V5 is, even at the default 360Hz dimming option. You know the modulation rate is better because the lines are much lighter, indicating that the brightness drop at each refresh interval is significantly closer to the normal brightness level. The tests from my light meter prove this point and show that Honor is making huge strides from generation to generation to make their OLED panels far more eye-friendly than ever. What's interesting is that I can eventually pick up the high PWM rate at 10% brightness even though it's not showing up as 3840 or 4320 hertz like it's supposed to, but visually it's clearly using a higher rate than that, but things change when we move on to the next mode. With this release, Honor is solidifying their new dimming options, which can be found under Honor Eye Comfort Display section in the system settings. The two options available are Eye Comfort UHF, which is kind of a weird name, but uses a triple pulse DC dimming algorithm with low modulation across medium to high brightness levels and pseudo 4320Hz PWM dimming at low brightness. The classic UHF setting, which is also known as DC-like dimming in the flicker sensitive community, uses the same single pulse method we saw Honor experimenting with on the Magic 7 Pro. This time, as you can tell though, you don't have to delve into developer options just to find it, which is a huge win for Honor users. I hope to see the company add this to other phones in an update because it's great to see. Classic UHF is my preferred mode of dimming and it's excellent to see it available on both screens and with a more stable wave pattern than the Magic V3. The important part here for me is that both displays use the same dimming rate, whereas on the V3, it was different for each and that can be a little jarring. The same pattern plays out on the inner display, although the Magic V3's inner display was always that phone's most eye-friendly display anyway. Again, this time around, Honor gives you the choice of using its default 360Hz PAM mode or the more standard DC-like classic UHF mode that aligns the brightness drops to the refresh rate. If you don't understand how to read these graphs or why OLED dim like this, check out this video I put together. I'll also have a link in the description. Overall, both displays are a huge improvement for flicker sensitive users and show that Honor is not only listening to feedback, but doing a great job of delivering OLEDs that can work for a lot of flicker sensitive people. On to the dithering test, among the many oddities of the Magic V3's displays was the fact that it used dithering on the inner display, but not the outer display. I'm extremely happy to say that the Magic V5 does not follow suit, and I can't find any sign of dithering on either of the displays. This is absolutely fantastic news, and you don't even have to change the color spaces to get it. Just stick with the default vivid mode, and you're good. It also uses hardware level blue light blocking, so no dithering when using the warm color shift options. Overall, this is one of the best displays I've seen on any phone this year. Only the Honor 400 series offers lower modulation with no dithering, but of course, it doesn't offer the flexibility of a book style foldable or the speed of a flagship phone like the Magic V5 does. This is easily the best foldable phone of 2025, especially when you consider the display, battery life and charging speed, camera versatility and quality, and seven years of OS updates. Really just a massive improvement upon the already good Magic V3. If you enjoyed that video and my work, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.